So first we get in our Tai Chi stance. And I want you to feel the space underneath the arches of your feet. And if you have flat feet, then you can just pre pretend and feel like you've got that nice arch and underneath the arch is this space. And then moving up your body, <clears throat> let's just let the upper body weight. This is actually focusing on the mass, but we'll get to the relevant space and just sink that down into your sit bones. And as you do, I want you to visualize your spine and go up each vertebrae from your low back up to each one and imagine that you're creating space between each vertebrae. And we do this by just letting go of the lower body and then the feather on the top of your head going through the ceiling and that sort of stretches the spine mostly by the sinking down and the anchoring at the top and opens up the space between each vertebrae. My back actually just popped right then. A good pop. And now I want you to imagine that your shoulders are very heavy and see the ball and socket in your mind and just see the ball of your shoulder lengthening and opening. And now your elbows, your wrists, and every joint in your fingers are separating and opening. This is just visual. And now your skull rests on a, a, a vertebrae at the top. It's a very special vertebrae at the top. It's called the Atlantis, or the, and it, it just rests right on top of it. And I want you to just feel as though your skull is lightly lifting off of that, and you're creating space there. Now, I want you to use peripheral vision. So I know you're looking at me through the screen, but can you open up your vision to peripheral so that you're taking in the sides of the room? And now imagine that you can see behind you. And I want you to feel the space that your body is occupying. And shift your focus to that space that's all around you. Very nice. Now standing up and the space between the palms of your hands and your thighs expands as well as behind you and that's what lifts the arms for you. And then as you stand up, let's just imagine the spine opening. So the bottom of the spine down, the crown of the head up. Feel the space between the palms of your hands and the thighs. And if you really can focus on that, you can almost feel as though your hands are lifting on their own. And then standing up and let that space now be in your spine. And again, floating up. And you see that my arms are not going up too high. And now feel the space between your fingers and the top of your toes. And the space now between each vertebrae. And one more, so now we're widening our focus. So now the top of your toes to the underneath of your fingers. Ooh, yeah, nice. And now your back is expanding towards the back wall. Turn your palms to face each other. And now you're holding a ball and that, or a balloon. And that balloon starts to expand and you're just following it. And then as it closes, I want you to think of expanding forward and back as well as the tailbone. Let go of your lower body, down, feather up. Nice, keep going. Keep your focus on the space. That's it, very nice. And now let the ball sink down. 
and feel the ball between your hands. Now float that ball up. It's floating up on its own, the energy coming up from the knees or from the toes. You can let it come up as high as you're comfortable. Let's expand it a little bit. So now the palms are still containing that space. Weight shift to your right. And let this ball sink towards your little toe on the left, both knees bent. And then lifting up, now I want you to feel the space underneath the arches of your feet. Shoulders heavy. Now towards your right little toe. And feel the space underneath your arches your feet. Let go of the lower body. Can you focus on the space between your forearms? your elbows, your upper arms. Now, can you imagine that you're, I don't know, oh, a piece of wheat in a field and you're just blowing and flowing with that breeze. So now your movement is not contrived, rather you're just moving with this natural energy like you're flowing like seaweed in water. So you're moving with it. Let your lower body go. Very nice. Now it's okay to go ahead and look up, open up and receive all of that energy. It's like you're just taking it all in and then let go of that lower body. Keep the arms away from the body. Then the space underneath the arches of your feet, energy goes up. Open up. Feel all that energy. Let it just flow through you. And then let your lower body go. Just relax all that. Let it be heavy. And you're standing up, your knees are slightly, slightly bent. Feeling that space, and every time I do this, I'm feeling more and more energy because it's like I'm charging up here. I'm receiving all of this energy all around me. And I'm letting it flow into my body, and then I'm gathering it and boy, by the time I get here, I can really feel it in my hands and arms. And if I shift my focus to the arches of my feet, I can feel it there. And just release that lower body, crown of your head through the sky. Turn your dantian to the right, open up for a big hug. Keep both knees bent. Now you're holding a big ball. I want you to feel this space turning towards me. And we keep this space pretty wide. So you're just rolling one big ball. And then open up for the hug to the right. And feel the space between your hands, your forearms, between the thighs and the calves. Can you feel your arches of the feet standing on one ball? Turn that big ball with your feet. And then soften that left hamstring. Open up, receive, let that energy flow into you. Wow, very nice. You can actually feel that. Now let's pretend that this upper arm is receiving energy as you push it forward. The left arm is actually the one delivering energy. It's my opposite mindset. So the bottom arm is actually sending energy all the way to me. Send it to me, send it to me, send it to me. And your top, top arm is receiving my energy. Now, I know you 
want to watch, but just see if you can do this without watching the screen and you can just check in at the 12 o'clock because that keeps your nose over your dantian. Yeah, that's nice. Soften that left hamstring and back to the middle. Now maintain the connection between the hands. Hold your big ball. Let it sink down. Now even though your hands are moving away from the, each other or pushing back and down, it's a magic ball. You're still able to hold it. And then the arches of your feet are expanding like the ball that you're standing on is expanding and that's what lifts the arms for you. Now feel the space underneath the forearms and feel that pressure, almost like the energy down coming up from the earth is giving you gentle resistance. Connect those palms, keep them connected. Now feel the ball under your feet, let it inflate. And that's what lifts the arms for you. And you can stand up a little bit. And now a big, big ball underneath the forearms. And inflate that ball underneath your feet. And it's almost as though you're floating. Nice. <clears throat> and now rest your hands on that big ball or on the two Great Danes heads, but I prefer you now to think of big ball, one big ball. And we're going to turn and lift. Now it div does divide, so it's one ball and it divides. One hand sinks, one hand floats. And what does your tailbone do? That's right, it sinks. Ollie. And this one floats. And now we come together and we join it into one. So you're kind of recharging, resetting uh, that energy. And then you divide it and to yin and yang. One floats, one sinks. So this one has to kind of sink down. And then join it into one and then divide it. And there's a division in your spine. The tailbone's down, the crown of your head floating up. So for me, it's much easier to think of my hamstring, just releasing my hamstring and keeping the crown of my head or that feather through the sky. Then that just keeps my posture for me. And now I want you to play with something here. Now your left elbow, I want you to just a tiny bit, extend it towards the corner. And as you do, your right claw goes back to the back wall a little bit. Yeah, do you see how you get more rotation there? All right, so here, don't even think about your hand. Think about the elbow and just it lengthens forward towards your corner, not to the side. And then this claw goes back. So you're creating more distance between the claw and your elbow. And that distance does what? It creates space. So feel the space now widening between the claw and the elbow. Uh, widening is not a good word. Let's see, expanding. And it's gradual, isn't it? It's like a balloon. A balloon blows up or expands gradually. Yeah, that was nice. Good. Let's do one more. Very nice. Come back to the middle. And now waving hands in clouds. Big ball. Come across. One. Now I want you to turn the doorknobs in your feet. Your left arm is delivering the energy. This helps keep you centered. Keep the knee bent, both knees. And can you just take your tailbone and draw it in the sand? 
So it's coming toward your right heel. And now as you come across, the left arm delivers and your tailbone draws in the sand towards your, right, uh, your left heel. I may have said that backwards before. So left arm delivers, tailbone draws in the sand towards your right heel. That keeps you from bobbing up and down. And another way of looking at it is that you've got a, a curved windowsill and you're just sliding on that windowsill. So it's curved on a horizontal plane a little bit and you rotate. And now feel the space between your arms. And feel the space underneath the arches of your feet. And turning those doorknobs or the space underneath your feet. Now can you widen your vision? Make it peripheral vision. You're not looking at your hand. And now can you feel that you're surrounded by this energy and it's like you're stirring this energy. And so you're feeling your body in the space around you. Don't forget behind you. And we'll do one more. And come back to the middle, keep the palms connected. Sink it down. Right heel in, left foot forward, big open hug. Turning towards your left toe, hinge at the hips, open up, make as much space as you can in your back, in your shoulders, open your elbows, open your wrist and fingers. Now you've got all this space, tailbone sinks down, lifting the arms, and now expand it, and as it expands, that's what opens the arms for you. Feel the space underneath the arches of your feet. Can you pretend that th that is expanding? And try not to wa watch me now. Keep your nose over your dantian. You can go at your own pace if you'd like. Feel the space underneath the arches of your feet. So as you hinge at the hip, it's almost as though the space under the arches of your feet gets bigger. And then certainly as you lift the arches, the space expands and release. And let's do some punching. So bring your right hip back, left hip back. Now keep both knees bent and I want you to feel the space under the arches of your feet and then do a quick turn and just let this come out. And just for grins, let's have a backwards thinking here. So as your arm comes forward, I want you to think of energy and power going backward. Okay? So let's try that. We'll go to the other hip. So now your right hip, and now feel the space under the arches of your feet. Turn quickly and let that feel like that energy went behind you. Yeah. Same here. Go. Mm -hmm. Isn't it amazing what our mind can do? Just changing the focus. So now feel the space under the feet and go. So for me, if I'm thinking the power backward, it corrected um, some postural anomalies. And here we are. And go. 
Yes. And if there was a way of measuring the power, I bet you anything that the power increased. And go. Okay, that one wasn't quite as good, actually. I could feel it. Think back. So just think that as you explode this forward, that there's energy going behind you. Here we are. And go. Yes, nice. And another. And go. Very good. All right, this one, we're going to stretch that spine or open up the spine. So it's important as you come up, you think that the tailbone is heavy. So from the Dante on down, just let it go, let it go, let it go. And then as you come back down, feel the feather on the back of your head piercing through the sky, opening up your spine. Same thing, let your lower body go and then piercing through the sky as you come down. Okay, and you try to turn off all of your muscles. So in your mind's eye, I want you to see every single vertebrae and feel like it's opening up like a slinky, opening by sinking down and stretching up a little bit. And here we have a magic slinky, so even as we sink down, we're pulling the top up and it opens our spine. Good. Now feel the space between the palms of your hands, let it expand, 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 expand. And still expanding, still expanding, and very nice. We'll do our kicks. Lift from the knee or toe touch, keep your quad back, flip it out, place it, and fill it. So again, if you can just sink your lower body down and think of the crown of the head going up, flip it out. And if you're falling into that foot, then you need to, uh, to modify down a little bit. So you can scuff it away, place it, and fill it. You can toe touch, scuff it away, place it, and fill it. Eventually, if you just stick to what you can do, you'll be able to upgrade it a little bit at a time. As long as you're using good mechanics. So the claw goes back, you're sitting on a chair, The claw goes back, sitting on a chair, lift from the knee, and place it. Then standing up, and we'll let it expand again. So feel this space that you occupy. And now, instead of just between the palms of your hands and your thighs, feel it expanding all around you. Your arms should just float up. And as you sink them down, it's, I'm going to have to come up with a good visual analogy for this, but it's, it's like the center point is condensing down, but by nature, by the center point condensing down, the outside of you is expanding more. So expand all of the energy around you. It's kind of easier to feel this. And then imagine that point in your Dantian, and it's just condensing down, condensing down, becoming very concentrated. But as it does, your energy around you keeps expanding. And again, expand all around you, floating the arms up, and you should be sitting down. And then as you stand up, the palms float down. Let's try one more so I get in sync. So you're standing up and as you sit down, allow the hands just to float up and we'll keep floating them up, floating them up, floating them up. They're continuing to float. Open up and receive and then let the lower body go. Take all of that beautiful energy and let's just place it right into that very center point of your Dantian. 
and you should feel it from the center point of your hands. And now we'll gather up any remaining heavy chi, gather it up, squeeze it down, breathe in and release it off into infinity. And another bundle. And release it. And another bundle. Grab a hold of it. Physical, emotional, energy that's heavy and wears us down. And just let it go. No longer a part of you. And so now we take our right hand and we make a fist for strength. And our left hand is open for friendship. We take our thumb and fold it and bow it down. And that is for humility. And we keep our elbows in front of our body so that we still have space. And we join these together as we've joined together today in strength and friendship and humility.